Hey everybody, it's David Myers with eXp Realty here in Cape Coral, Florida. I specialize in waterfront property as I have done since I was first licensed back in 2003. Today, I'm standing in front of 5314 Darby Court, a four bedroom, three bath house here in the Yacht Club. This is in the south side of the Yacht Club. There are no bridges, no wires. The only overhead height restriction between here and the Azores is the Sandoval Causeway at 72 feet. Any powerboat will fit here, most sailboats. We're gonna take a look inside and then we'll go back to the office and talk about what makes this location and this house something special. Let's go take a look inside. Okay, so the first impression when you walk through the front door is that it smells exactly like a brand new house. All new flooring, all new paint, all new trim, cabinets, countertops. It is as nice as it could possibly be for this particular house in this particular age and this particular layout. They did a great job with the kitchen, white cabinets, stone countertops. This is a familiar floor plan. I've seen this floor plan a lot. This house is about 1,600 square feet when you see it in its original form. The way it sits today, it's over 3,100 square feet of living area. This is the master. This master has actually two sets of vanities. So there's one and there's a walk-in closet here. There's the bathroom area with a shower. And then there's another vanity on this side. So there are actually two vanities in there. This one, I've seen this floor plan with windows out to the pool. This particular one has a slider. Then this area to the right, that would normally be the outside in the original plan. Go back through the kitchen here. And this area can either be set up as a seating area. I've seen it done that way before. Sometimes it's done as another eat-in area. Like I said, this area out here originally was under Trestle and I. They have it included in the living space now. So there's a lot that you can do with that. And then for the split plan on this side of the house, there are two bedrooms. I've seen this house with walk-in closets. This particular one has standard closets. And then there's another bedroom in the back here. I've also seen this property, this particular house model, not this property, but this particular model where this a bathroom is not set up like a pool bath. This one has the pool bath option. So there is an actual door from this bathroom out to the pool. So you have a legit pool bath in this particular one. And then you can see there's a lot of under truss lanai there. So in the summer times when it's raining and you want to still sit outside, you have some cover. Also, the house faces west in the back, so it's not bad to have some cover for the evening sun. Now, the entire back of this house has an add-on area, and that's built up to current floodplain level so this particular floor here on this area is the height that it would be if this were a new home this is a huge addition to this property as far as square footage goes as far as having another living area and you remember there's the front room they have the enclosed lanai area they have this closet here under the stairs which is where everybody keeps their christmas tree and then I'll take one more look around this room for you. Before we go up the steps. And then upstairs you have an extra master. So this is a really good size room. It has both a linen closet and a walk-in closet, as well as the balcony on the back. I'll show you the bathroom here real quick. Really nice shower. And 
and then it's a really good sized room. And then you got a walk-in closet up here. And a linen closet. And then we'll look outside on the balcony. Oh, that was close. Goes the entire width of this uh, second story area. Great view down over the yard. You can see down over the pool. boat dock. The boat dock has a lift in place that's 10,000 pounds walk around, which is nice, a wraparound lift. There's a little pond down there. There was an iguana sitting next to that pond on the seawall. Go out the back slider here and take a peek at the backyard. It's a nice path that goes down to the cutout area. There was something moving in the water there. Couldn't quite see what it was. You can see the 10,000 pound lift that has aluminum bunks, which is really nice. Neighbor has the sailboat on a lift. Couldn't figure out where the keel was on that. Must be some type of a center board. So look up and down the canal. This canal is 72 feet wide. There are no bridges, no wires, nothing between here and the Sanibel Causeway, which as I mentioned before is 72 feet tall. Okay, so here's 5314 Darby Court by the numbers. It's four beds, three baths. It is on a three lot site, which we're gonna to touch on in a second. It has a pool, two car garage, 3,108 square feet of living area. It's quoted as 3,581 total. I have a feeling it's more than that because the total living area includes the lanai and uh, the pool deck and the garage. And I'm pretty sure it's bigger than that. Um, but they have it quoted as uh, 3581. 3,108 living though is probably what it actually is. It's a big house. List price, $1.35 million, $1,350,000. All right, so as always with these walkthrough videos, there are basically three things to discuss. There's the lot or the location where the house is uh, sitting. There's the house that's sitting on the lot and there's the value for money. First thing, the location. I love this location. The Yacht Club is a great place and the south portion of it, Unit 4 as it's known officially, is really good because of the fact that it has no overhead height restrictions whatsoever. There are no bridges, there are no wires, none of that kind of stuff. The only thing in your way, overhead wise, air draft uh, wise, is the Sandoval Causeway between this house and anywhere else in the world. Okay, so if you have a sailboat with a mast height of 70 feet or less, you're good. Power boats of basically any height, you're good. The canal is 72 feet wide, which is plenty of room to turn around quite a big boat. This property sits on a triple lot. The triple lot, uh, even though the Yacht Club was built in 1959, don't think that they weren't doing creative advertising back then. Uh, here's how that works. Basically, where I grew up in Michigan, when someone said double lot, you would think that it was a lot that was twice the size of a normal lot in the neighborhood. You could build two houses there. In the Yacht Club, um, and all, everywhere in Cape Coral, but that's where they started it all, a single lot was 40 by 125. You needed two of those single lots to build a house. So a double lot site was a marketing gimmick. A double lot site is only big enough to build one house. Now a triple lot site is 50% bigger. It's not 50% more valuable. It, it is measurably more valuable. There is a delta on that. You will pay extra money for a triple lot site. So if a uh, regular lot in this neighborhood 
has a value of around six hundred thousand dollars you could expect a triple lot to be maybe eight hundred thousand dollars okay there is um, a premium for the triple lot you have 120 feet of seawall which means you could park more boats there or you could just have more dock space or bigger dock space and with the 120 foot wide lot you have more room between you and the neighbors so you have more privacy it's basically almost 15,000 square feet of lot location like i said is impeccable you're just a few minutes out to the river it's very very close uh, but you're also protected the actual house that's sitting on the lot okay this is an older house i've seen this floor plan a million different times done a million different ways this one has been added on to but the way that it was done it doesn't feel as added on to as some properties like it so you have the split plan the master is on the north side there are two bedrooms on the south side there's that extra big living room or family room in the back so you'll have like a front room living space that back room living space the area behind the kitchen you also have uh, the extra master suite upstairs so if you're buying this for an airbnb investment uh, you have a lot of area to rent out or if you have a large family or need a lot of space you have a lot of area that you can use for whatever it is that you want to use it for so the house is really nicely remodeled the remodel job is is very well done there was nothing that i could see that you could pick apart the dock is a simple uh, wraparound dock but it has a 10,000 pound lift, which is good for a pretty reasonably sized boat. Overall, I think the, the value for money on this property is definitely there at the asking price. If you're looking for something 3,000 square feet in that part of town, and you don't mind that it isn't brand new, I'd definitely take a look. I have written a buyer's guide. I've mentioned this in previous videos. If you would like my Cape Coral Waterfront Buyer's Guide, it's a 20 page PDF that goes over a lot of the information uh, that you need is a base of information before you actually start looking at waterfront property. Uh, I recommend you go download a copy. You can go to capecoralwaterfrontbuyersguide.com, put in your email address, and you'll automatically get a copy of that. That's a great way to start. If you wanna get a hold of me or have questions about this property or any other property on the water, um, feel free to do so. You can call or text my cell phone number at 239-529-0555. You can email me at waterfrontluxury at gmail.com. If you stuck around this far in the video, I'd really appreciate it if you'd like it so others can find it and subscribe if you want to see more. If there's anything that I can do for you, feel free to reach out. And until the next time, I'll see you out on the waterfront. Hey everybody, it's David Myers with EXP Realty here in Cape Coral, Florida. I specialize in waterfront property as I have done since I was first licensed back in 2003. And today I'm standing in front of the address that I cannot remember. You go to the mailbox. 5314. 5314 Darby Court. Probably start that over, huh?